Hey, hey guys, it's my here from YouTube. Uh, well, welcome to my first gaming, or my own first proper gaming video, if you want to call it that. Um, now, oh, I did try to record Destiny, but my internet is not very good. It kept, oh, I kept getting booted from the servers, so oh, I didn't want to record that, so... I'm now going to record some Forza Horizon 2 for you. So, yes. So, he will be my first proper gameplay video. If you will. So, yes. Now, I'm using the Elgato HD60. As some of you might have seen me unbox it earlier in the week. So, yes. Now, when I first heard this song, for the first time, I got I got goosebumps. I guess the way that the song goes with the with the with the visuals and uh, it goes it goes awesome. But yes, now I'm not the I'm not the best player on far from that but this will be more casual mainly drifting and maybe sometimes some races but yeah so and I will go through my car car list and show you guys that but I thought today we'll start off with the Lamborghini Aventador so we'll, we'll leave the car meet and we'll turn off the radio because I'm not sure if I'll get copyrighted Knowing, knowing YouTube, I will, because they're paying their ass when it comes to that that kind of shit. So I get turn that off completely. Now I don't know what I'm meant to meant to, meant to, meant to talk about while I'm doing this stuff. Cause I've never done it, um, so, um, first off, I'll show you what I'm running on this car, as for the tune, so for the tune, I, now, this is the way that I tune my, my cars for me. But, yeah, so everyone's got a different tuning style. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying this is the right way to do it, but for me, I found it, it works, so, 
so from giving I've maxed out the first gear so and because I'm running over um, 700, 700 horsepower I maxed out the first gear so it goes in the second gear faster and I put second gear 2.28 um, third gear is 1.36 fourth gear is 1.03 and I really, really hit fifth, sixth, and seventh gear. So I, I mainly keep it in uh, second. And when I'm doing the uh, high speed runs, I might just get into fifth gear. So that's the gearing uh, and the final drive is that, so, yeah, so now for the energy roll, now well, I'm in the, I'm in the alignment, um, I tend to leave these, these as they are from stock. The only thing I might play with is this, the right height. So we'll, we'll want lower it a little bit. Um, and the anti roll bars. I tend to keep around the same and the springs I tend to keep them the same but I might have a play, have a play around with this with the right, with the right height so, yes, um, and the dampening I always keep around the same, and the, and the area is the same. Now, here we're kind of dramatically. For the braking force, I put that all the way to the front, and the and the braking pressure, I put that all the way up to two hundred. That way, because the the controller configuration that I use is um how I'll show you guys quickly. Um if we go back to here and into settings. Now here is my controller. I use layout twelve and that means that my right analog stick is the gas and the brake. So when I push forward on the um, right stick, the car goes forward. And when I pull back on the stick, the brake comes on. So that's the button layout that I, that, that I use. Now, if we go back into the tuning, okay, well, what happens? Now, because the, the braking, 
the brakes are always in the front and that's all the way up. I that means when I, when I pull back on the brakes the back end starts to slide out. I'll show you guys in a minute. Now for the diff. I use all-wheel drive, all drive cars because I find them to be the easiest to drift. Now, for the front, I tend to have it around uh, zero to um, 20, 20%. I guess it depends how the car feels. But that I keep zero and that I max out. That one there I max out. And that one there I tend to keep around between the 80 to more 100 mark, it just depends on the car power. If the car is is over, like, um, like, because you, you'll be able to feel it. When they put the power down, you can feel the back end wanting to come out more and more, so that means you would back that off a little bit so typically that's the setup I use on this car but we might put it up to around 98 so now now I will show you guys how the braking works so I'm off. I'm turning the radio off. Now, yeah. yeah, you walk in. Now, yeah, I'm gonna hit the brake, see how the back end goes. You got some monster um, coming in. Now, yeah, I'll tell you why I'll do that. Because, because the handbrake is right down on R2. So for me, I find, I find that too hard to get to quickly. So, So, I would have favoured the where, where I mainly drift. I mainly drift here. Yeah. In, the, in this. Let's see how it goes. Back in, come in. I think that's what you want if you want to use your pants to get to the handbrake quickly. You can pull back on your own on stick and then, then, then you can go bang it. Garage and grab either my Ferrari or my 
Sexting. That wasn't a very, very good one. But that pretty much the um the um section that that all around. having the players cars but turn it off or like that car there turn it off the amount of time that they buck up my own drift is like a lot of times oh yes I get hope before the horizon three that they uh, allow us to turn off the um the um, AI, the AI cards. See? They're always in the way. So you can't have Oh, um, clean run. They always need run. Okay. That's one. That's one one of the things that they are going to do for the Horizon 3 is the ability to turn off these those cars. I and I if you guys like this find the stuff I'm I might do more um, and I might try different cars and guess do a tuning tuning video if you want that or 
Or if you want me to buy a car and do it up, then down to it. Um, yeah. So, alright. Then thanks for watching. And we will see you in my next video.